वेलकम डियर चिल्ड्रन टू ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर नाइन हीट व्हाट इज हीट हीट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी दैट इज ट्रांसफर्ड बिटवीन टू सब्सटेंसेस एट अ डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी फ्लो इज फ्रॉम द सब्सटेंस ऑफ हायर टेम्परेचर to the substance of lower temperature heat is a form of energy flowing from one body of matter to another spontaneously due to their temperature difference it can flow from one place to another which is called as a transfer of heat heat flow from a body at a higher temperature to a body at a lower temperature this is called transfer of heat most of us use the word heat to mean something that feels warm but science defines heat as the flow of energy from a warm object to a cooler object heat energy is the result of the movement of a tiny particles called atoms molecules or ions in solid liquid and gaseous energy is what makes things happen all materials are made up of tiny particles called molecules molecules are always moving the moment creates heat the amount of heat depends on how fast the molecules move as the molecules move faster they take up more space and make the object expands have you ever tried this rub your palms against each other and put them on your cheeks what do you feel when you rub your hand together the action of scraping surface of your skin back and forth against each other causes the molecules in your skin to move a little faster the faster the molecules move the higher the temperature so the friction of rubbing your hand together makes them feel warmer we come to know some properties of heat energy from the example the sun's heat has many effects and uses how does the solar heat reaches the earth most of the solar radiation is absorbed by the atmosphere and much of what reaches the earth surface is radiated back into the atmosphere to become heat energy when sun energy moves through space it reaches earth atmosphere and finally the surface this radiant solar energy warms the atmosphere and becomes heat energy this heat energy is transferred through the planet's system in three ways radiation conduction and convection why does the heat in the water heated to boiling slowly decreases once it is taken off of the flame where does this heat goes the energy for evaporation is drawn from the heat in the environment which is frequently used when cooling is needed in a technical and everyday application so the order of event is the constant influx of heat from the flames keeps the water boiling and the the heat influx stops because you turn off the stove the moisture in the air cools down due to the ice cubes in the glass and collects on the outside of the glass a thermometer is used to measure the temperature of a substance we have already studied the changes in the state of matter caused by heat why does the halwa wrap up the cloth around the end of a slotted spoon while stirring the boiling milk in his large kadai because the cloth being a bad conductor of heat does not transfer the heat to the hands of halwa hence the halwa wrap up clothes around the end of his slotted spoon while stirring the boiling milk why do we hold a steel glass in a handkerchief while drinking hot milk from it steel glass is a good conductor of heat while handkerchief is an insulator steel or all metals are good conductor of heat therefore if one hold the steel glass in a bare hand he or she will get burned when we take a hot object in the vicinity of the cold one the cold object become warm and the hot ones become cooler infer that heat is transferred from hot body to a cold body why do we wear cotton clothes in winter wool is a bad conductor of heat we wear woolen clothes to maintain our body temperature and also for protecting ourselves against cold air 
there are three types of heat transfer conduction convection and radiation conduction energy is transferred by direct contact convection energy is transferred by the mass motion of molecules and radiation energy is transferred by electromagnetic radiation transfer of heat energy by direct contact air molecules touch a warm surface and heat moves from warm to cold so conduction is a transfer of energy that occurs when molecules bump into one another that is heat transferred from one atom to another within a substance let's try this activity modes of heat transfer conduction apparatus bars of stainless steel aluminum and copper a candle a burner pins etc procedure you have to take a stainless steel or iron copper and aluminum bar each about 30 cm long and having the same shape apply wax spot with the help of a candle at the distance of 2 cm from each other on all the three bars stick a pin in each of these spots so that it is upright now insert the ends of all three bars into a flame at the same time observe what do you see from which bar do the pins start falling first and why so we observe that pins fall starting from the end near the burner it means that transfer of heat takes place from the hot end of the bar to the cold end this transfer of heat from the hot part of an object to the cold part is called conduction of heat the pins on the copper bar start falling first the pins on the steel bar falls comparatively late heat is conducted quickly through copper conduction of heat to a substance depends on the property of that substance that conduction of heat takes place through a solid substance shows that a medium is required for conduction of heat so conduction of heat means transfer of heat from the hot part of an object to the cold part conduction examples are water heating on an electric stove hot stand touching your feet touching a stove and being burned ice cooling down your hand boiling water by thrusting a red hot pieces of iron into it transfer of heat energy by the circulation of a gas or liquid warm air rises because it is less dense cold air sink because it is more dense moves the most heat energy in the atmosphere let's try one more experiment how does the transfer of heat take place through a liquid convection of heat apparatus a beaker potassium permanganate crystal a burner water etc so you have to take some water in a beaker heat the beaker slowly on a gas burner add a few crystal of potassium permanganate into the water now wash the water into the beaker carefully what do you see you will see streams of water going upward and coming back to the bottom due to the potassium permanganate this magenta color streams can be identified easily because the potassium permanganate color is magenta when heating begins the water near the bottoms become warms and its density decreases as a result it moves upward and is replaced by cold water coming from above in this manner heat is transferred by the means of currents called convection current this process is called as a convection of heat convection can occur in liquid and gaseous substance convection needs a medium the relationship between density and convection if we take some water in a test tube a piece of ice in a wire gauze and drop it in the test tube it will sink to the bottom heat the upper part of the test tube stop heating when the water start boiling observe the pieces of ice at the bottom the heat does not reach the bottom even the upper part is heated how does this happen the density of water decreases due to heating 
therefore it cannot sink and the process of convection does not occur radiation is energy given off by a manner in the form of rays or high speed particles all matter is composed of atoms atoms are made up of various parts the nucleus contains minute particles called protons neutrons and the atoms outer shells contain other particles called electrons light a candle and stand it upright hold your hand on its two side at same distance from the candle bring them closer what do you feel have you warmed yourself near a bonfire or in the morning sun in the winter why do we feel warm near the bonfire because the heat transferred near the bonfire is by the process of radiation every warm object continuously emits heat in all the direction around itself similarly bonfire also radiates heat some of this heat is absorbed by our body while some of this heat is reflected therefore by sitting near a bonfire we can feel warm what happens to the radiated heat falling on an object generally radiated heat is reflected absorbed and transferred by the object if the object is bright and glossy the incident radiated heat is mostly reflected and some of it absorbed but when the object is dark and rough it will absorb most of the heat and become warm and some heat will be transformed radiation is a process by which heat is transferred from one place to another without the help of any medium example the heat from the sun reaches the earth by radiation when we sit near a fire we feel warm due to heat radiated by the fire all hot body radiate heat The sun is million of kilometer away from us. There is no air between the sun and the earth, and the earth atmosphere is only a thin layer of air close to the earth. How does the heat of the sun reaches us? This heat is transferred in the absence of any medium. The transfer of heat takes place in the way without a medium is called as the radiation. In the above example, heat reaches us mainly by radiation. Radiation of heat takes place from many objects in nature such as trees mountains stones and roads a camera has been developed which uses this radiation to make our surrounding visible at night it is called as infrared camera using this camera it is possible to keep a watch on the movements of the enemy during the night when heat rays fall on an object a part of heat is absorbed by an object and a part of it is reflected the ability of a substance to absorb heat radiation depends on its color and also its intrinsic properties so let's recall what we had studied about we had studied about transfer of heat modes of transfer transfer of heat take place through a liquid and radiation thank you